Jones. I'm a senior running back here at Harvard College. Uh, I will be graduating this May. I'm a management major and accounting minor. You think back to four uh, years um, before now, and you were coming out of Florida to come to Hiram to start your process here as a part of our football family. Uh, kind of go back to those those days, and you know, what was your memories from your first year here at Hiram? Uh, I think starting way back to back to high school, really, was uh, when I actually got called by one of the Hiram coaches to come up here. And like my my aunt told me that she wasn't gonna let me go until the coach came to talk came to Florida to see me. And then that next week, Coach Moore was sitting in my living room talking to me and my family. And that like that meant a lot so that like they really wanted me to come here. So then after that I came to Hiram I, I met with the people here. Um and everybody just accepted me for being out of state. I was I felt really, like really loved and accepted being here. I mean, so freshman year it was kinda just I got I was really very, very homesick and uh one of the seniors then at my time told me to just stick it out, just stick with it, just try it out, and that's what I did. And probably one like one of the best decisions I've made in my life for real. Okay, so past that point, how you, what's your feelings now? It's a uh, it's, it's bittersweet, you know. I'm 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 glad I'm graduating. You know I mean, it's a it's a big accomplishment to graduate. I mean, from a school like Hiram, at the same time, it's like I don't want to leave because like it is it it made me grow so much since I've been here. Just coming from out of state from Florida, I mean, I'm miles away from home. I I don't have that the ability to go home every weekend and see my family, you know what I mean? So I have to kind of deal with the homesickness and deal with everything else and handle it, handle all my issues as a man by myself instead of calling mom and having mom help me out or having my mom help me out. So it's just that 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 connection was just disrupted. Me. Now, now with you going, getting ready to graduate this spring and move on to the next step or the next phase of your life, uh, how has Hiram College, uh, Hiram football, the Hiram community, all the friends and that you, that you have uh, gained here at Hiram, how, how has that shaped your life right now, and, and how is it going to impact your future in, in, in the next step and phase of your life? It, it's really, it, it made me a, a, a better people person because like, we, we are a small campus, so like you're, you're really connected with everyone you meet. So I, I, got, I have friends from out of the country now. I have friends from Africa. I have friends from Europe. Like, it's just different countries that I have people I've met and I've, I've uh, had real strong bonds with. You know, uh, I feel like that, that, that set me up to get into my career because... I just have that those interpersonal skills are very important, especially with jobs, because if you can't talk to people and, and, and deal with different people in different statures, you're not gonna make it in this world. So this this hiring really helped me out as far as like being open and networking and talking to different people, which is a big And, and big really step the, the the thing to consider with this whole process is if you were talking to a young man like yourself, thinking back to when you were coming out of high school and getting ready to come away from home to hire him for the first time, what advice would you say to them and and how can you inspire them to to make that journey and to make that that step just, in their uh, lives? Just just make that just make that leap. You know what I mean, it's a, it's a leap of faith. You know, I know you want, want to stay comfort, and stay around your family, but just take that extra step and going out because I did it and like I said, I'm alive. I had a few minor scratches and bumps here and there, but I'm, like I said, I'm breathing. I'm I'm in good shape. I'm in good health. And just you know I mean, just take that chance because the experience I I have leaving home and coming to Hiram, just getting out and just having different different uh, interviews and different things like that is just really, really great for me. As far as like um, just being homesick, you will get homesick, but like we have all the technology like Skype and FaceTime where you be able to see your family. That really helped me as far as getting along the process and just the people here because Coach War did a real great job of like just bringing me in and making me a part of his family, telling me, you know what I mean, if I needed a hug, gave me a hug. Coach Price, uh, after one of the football games, we won. I was like sad because I like, I didn't have my, my family there. You know I me. Mean? I was used to that in high school, and I remember just Coach Price just came and gave me a hug. He was like, "Hey, I, I know you don't have this, so I'm, I'm gonna be your dad today." You know what I mean? It was kind of awkward at first, but <laughs> it, it just it really meant a lot to me. That's something I never forget. So just just take that leap of faith. Man, man, man.